welcome to my channel here i have maji got the tea welcome maji again okay i'm hearing this week there might be a little bit of distractions happening in your life so i'm going to be using this palo santo as i'm hearing you should also incorporate cleansing your home your space your office okay and for some of you tarot readers high priestess high priest your tarot cards as well need a cleansing okay so i'm going to channel another collective message here today as always, my beautiful kings and queens, take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? Leave it for whoever that message is for. This channel here, okay, I tend to channel readings very specifically, so I could channel your name, your birthday. Just stay tuned because I definitely deliver a thousand million percent readings. And those of you who've booked readings with me, I'm also delivering those, so I definitely thank you for your patience and for believing in me. Thank you for those of you also who have um, checked out my new song, Deep Emotions, and who those of you who've checked all of my songs that I have released, the three singles for the past three years, um, often, I think I love you and deep emotions. And I thank you guys for all the love, for all the comments, for all the shares. You guys are amazing. Expect new music to come out soon because you guys keep encouraging me to release, to release, to release. And I've been a bit stubborn. Okay. So if you are a musician out there and you've also been stubborn, I'm here to encourage you today and inspire you to pull your music out, to put your content out, to create, 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 comment below. I was born to create. So Shout out to my creators. Guess what day it is? I'm hearing it's self-care day. So Spirit wants you to know it's time to cut cords, okay? You might need to do some ritual of releasing someone from your space, from your workspace, from your love life. I don't know who it is. You're going to feel intuitively their name is going to come up instantly as you're hearing this message. It's time to cut the cords. You could be seeing 1111. I'm hearing for someone there might be a false twin flame, okay, that you feel like you're trying to still manifest. This person is a false twin flame. It's time for you to love yourself. Comment below. This is it's time for me to love myself. It's time for me to take care of myself. Yes. Yes. There's a lot that you need to cut off around you that it's draining you it's depleting you it's i'm hearing there's a lot of backstabbers so you may need to clean out your circle because there's rats in your circle okay comment below god is about to expose who my enemies are that's what i'm hearing okay this is the season that the more you love yourself the more you take care of yourself the sun is going to shine out okay you guys saw that that's the divine sun right there telling you that raw powerful energy connect with the sun energy things are going to brighten up your day some of you guys are going to start seeing rainbows i've seen some of you email me and show me rainbow images that you're receiving this is definitely important information from your spirit guides that they're telling you somebody here was born gifted with like mysterious powers right you have the ability to have like clairvoyant psychic powers you're able to communicate with angelic beings it's time for it to cut the cords with somebody you know who that person is cut them out of your life comment below i release whoever doesn't belong in my life and especially this new life where you're putting yourself first comment below i'm putting myself first and put a period on that sentence okay you're putting yourself first period that means that's it there's no other choice because i like i said something is confusing you Something is confusing your mind and is clouding your judgment. Perhaps it might be blocking the sun, literally, okay, or figuratively. It's like somebody is blocking your sun. Somebody's blocking your light. Somebody comment below. God, please remove whoever is blocking my divinity. Whoever is blocking my light, okay. Whoever is blocking my sun. You need to cut these people out because you're emerging. We have emerged on the bottom. Yeah, you're a star. You're an influencer. Maybe motivational speaker. Let me know who you are. I love to get to uh, know who my subscribers are and who's watching me as well. Especially if you're, this message happens to resonate. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, thank you so much. And hit the notification bell, guys. But yeah, the number 43 could be significant, 28 or 11. But I see a merge. The curtains. You're here. You were born to be on stage. You were born to be seen. And the real you is about to emerge. Comment below. I am emerging. The more that you're applying time for yourself, you're making sure to do that nice massage, the nice acupuncture, you take care, you go to the doctors, you start eating healthier, you start putting yourself first, the more you're going to attract romance because we have the number 33, which could be your age or your person's, but we have the full moon. 
which we're about to have in a few days in Scorpio. So that could be uh, significant for you. But during this full moon in Scorpio, your ancestor spirit guides, the whole entire universe is conspiring to bring your fulfillment to life. But something or someone is blocking your sun, blocking your happiness. Comment below. I remove whatever is blocking my... Ha my happiness, my son, because true love wants to enter romance, okay? I feel like the more you're going to be seen, somebody's going to see you, but you're maybe hidden right now. And it's like, how are you supposed to find your true love if you're, you know, let's say, no offense, like maybe stuck at home a lot? Um, I'm hearing this is the season you're about to start your divine uh, yeah, for somebody it's a divine business. Maybe you're starting a spiritual business, but I'm hearing this is the time where you're going to start your own business. Comment below. I'm ready to start my new business. There's divine guidance at this time. This person is also being divinely guided to you. You're being divinely guided to them. They might see you on the stage or somewhere where it's public and a lot of eyes are on you because I feel like you're emerging the more. And if you're not doing this right now, you're being asked to self-care, okay? To apply that self-care, to have patience and love with yourself, to continue your prayer, to continue to connect with your spirit guides, ancestors, with nature, with the fairies, whatever you believe in here. You're being guided by some Somebody, maybe somebody who's passed on their spiritual guidance for you. Maybe you've been praying for the right one, for the one, for a true romance. Maybe you've been praying for courage to step into the spotlight, to be seen, to show your gift, to show your creativity, to show your talent, to share your voice. And I really feel like you're a magical being who's going to do just that. It's just that maybe you've been dealing with some trauma because people around you have maybe uh, manipulated your energy or manipulated you um in some way even just maybe emotionally or in the mind yeah your third eye is opening though so you're becoming awakened of what's been going on in your life yes and i really feel with power there's like a new power that you're about to unlock in yourself and definitely you're about to tap into abundance so you might be seeing the number 888 or 818 this is because all that pain that you went through, it's about to be rewarded. Comment below. All the pain I went through is about to be rewarded. You're about to receive abundance, my love. That's why you're seeing that number. You're about to reach um, a breakthrough of some kind. New friends are entering your life. This new person or friends, um, they're healers just like you. I'm hearing your soul tribe. So shout out to you attracting your soul tribe. You're attracting a, a whole bunch of healers that are maybe have a past like you that tend to be like martyrs and sacrificing themselves for others. Um, yeah, Libra energy with justice. I feel like just karma is coming in and it's just like um, expect like the wheel of fortune to bring in the karma, right? To bring in the good dharma to you, but karma to your enemies. Coming below this to season my enemies face karma so expect also a new lover to enter your life right you touch people's lives with your love with your words so you're somebody that it was born to be impactful comment below i was born to be impactful if that resonates with you because that's what you were born to do as well not saying i'm telling you what you were but it seems like that's one of the gifts that you have and yeah over here it says somebody is in love with you this card fell on the floor but it says somebody is in love with you. So there's already somebody who's looking at you romantically who you might not even be seeing romantically yet because you've been so focused on yourself, on loving yourself and applying yourself. Um, it's like destiny is bringing this person in. Part of your karma, um, of your abundance and blessing here is to meet this person for some of you. That's for some of you who are single. Somebody is in love with you or maybe this is your person. Let's see what's going on here. I'm hearing you're like their moon and then stars. Very romantic. Yeah, there's some jealousy around you right now. Because maybe the attention that you're getting, the attraction. Comment below, I am attractive if this is you. Um, then we have 444 fell on the floor. So you could be seeing that number. That's your confirmation. And it's also a confirmation to let you know that you're protected from jealousy. Comment below, I'm protected from jealousy. I'm protected from envy. Even though it's around you and surrounding you because of the success and abundance that you are attracting and are about to begin to attract even more be the light in the darkness okay spirit is like continue to be that light in the darkness don't let these envious people to stoop to their to um don't stoop to their level because they can't stoop to yours okay i'm hearing they can't walk in your shoes comment below if that resonates but look be the light in the darkness that's what i feel like you're doing but in the past sometimes it, something was confusing to you something was didn't make sense and so it was tougher to make decisions deception fake smiles 
I'm telling you, a lot is going to come to the light. Comment below. A lot of secrets are coming to the light. You're about to actually know and, and see, maybe in a vision, maybe in your dreams, maybe quite literally, maybe through a third person or a phone call, whatever how the universe is going to allow it. Because like I said, this is the season of balance, karma, okay? My aunt is coming to definitely flood somebody's life here. Somebody, or could be one or more person, depending on your life here. This is a collective reading. They've been deceptive. They've been faking to be your friend or your lover to, to, to whatever. And they're just faking their smile. These people are fake, okay? And yes, a past on loved one says hi. This is the person that's giving you spiritual guidance, especially if you've been praying to them or trying to connect with them. Um, they've been maybe wa watching you or witnessing like you being emotionally pain, going through emotional pain about something. Specific birds, you're going to start seeing specific birds too. I'm hearing something about your self-image. Something about your self-image is changing in a good way. Maybe you're going to start glowing because you're taking more care of yourself. Comment below. I'm glowing. Yes. If that's you, honey, you're glowing. People are talking about how you're glowing too. A major sign is on the way. So maybe this video will be a sign or more signs are coming in angel numbers and something. Maybe even birds. I'm seeing a lot of birds in the background. But a major sign is going to come to you that this is going to be your message or the sign that you've been looking for. Then we have deception. Yeah, guys, y'all already know Maji got the tea. And if you don't know, make sure you comment below. Maji got the tea, though. Because, yes, there's deception around you. It felt right on the card of deceptions. There's literally people smiling at you, pretending that they're proud of you, that they're happy for you. I'm hearing they've been preying on your downfall. Comment below. No weapon form against me shall prosper. Yes. Like, no. No deception. Yes, there's definitely deception, especially if that's the person you thought of. That's the person who's envious of you, who's jealous of you. They're just faking it, okay? They're faking it that they like you or that they believe in you. But that's why the universe is giving you the right friends, right? You have new friends that are healers just like you, that are empaths just like you. So it's a very beautiful energy. It's, it's karma, okay? It's just how the universe works, so... Yeah, let's see what else. So this one flipped. Follow your intuition. You know who I'm talking about. Your third eye is opening, right? So you're going to be able to see things for yourself. Seek a tarot reader. If you're not a tarot reader, you need to seek somebody with a higher level of intuition. Okay, so if you guys like to book a reading with me, just email me. Right now, I am overbooked for this month of April. But um, you can still book it if you're willing to wait like a bit longer than usual. But somebody here needs to seek a high priestess, high priest, tarot reader here in order to find out who is this deceptive person. But I do recommend you to follow your own intuition because you can always tell, right? You can always tell. You just have to be in tune. And then you have cleanse your aura, which at the beginning I told you guys to definitely get Palo Santo and stuff like that. You're about to embark on a new career for some of you. That's what spirit is saying. What else? Okay, so um, I'm hearing fish. Maybe you need to like, maybe you're a pescatarian or you need to start to eat more fish, more omega pills or something like that. Um, trust your intuition. So yeah, somebody here, you're very intuitive. You need to trust your own intuition. And um, it says helps you connect to higher frequency. So you're about to like literally connect to higher frequency. Comment below. I'm connecting to higher frequency trust your intuition because you are developing psychic abilities at this time so you're going to be able to easily see who's faking the smiles who's deceiving who's deceiving you who's lying to you in your face who's plotting against you god is opening your own eyes so you don't even need to seek a tower reader is what i'm saying your own intuition you may not even need to seek it okay so take the higher resume some of you guys are singers you need, you're going to be able to express and flow with that song or your voice. You're going to come out of that shyness. Comment below. I'm coming out of this shyness. Yeah, because your highness, you need to shine, miss. <laughs> uh, earth and air dragon. Stay balanced. Ground your visions. You're going to start to get more visions. You're going to start to see orbs. Ground yourself. Go connect with water and earth elements. Um, cause you are manifesting and your dreams are becoming way vivid. I see you dreaming with wings or something like that. Then we have the blue galactic dragon helps you listen to the voice of the universe. So listen to your voice. The, you are the voice of the universe. There are light codes that are going to begin to come to you. Gems from the cosmos. Okay. You're going to have access to higher wisdom. And that's why it's going to be easier for you to see 
who you need to let go, cut cord, cord, cut cords with immediately. Like you would just have to know like, oh shit, I got to let this person go. I saw it with my own eyes, okay? Yes. Angel of self-worth. See how there's an anointance in your crown? You're a star. Like I said, you're very beautiful. You're a unicorn. You're currently understanding yourself. It's time to regain your self-worth. You're somebody here or a couple people have made you feel like you you didn't have value, like you didn't matter. You're about to see why they tried making you feel that way. Because the goddess is awakening. That's why they try to lie to you about who you are, belittle you, narcissist out there, right? Try to belittle you, dim your life, block your sun, block your wave coming below. They couldn't block nothing. Because the goddess is awakening. That's what's happening. The anointed one, the goddess, look at the star. Somebody who's literally meant to be seen by the entire world global. Because look at the earth right there. Two stars. Two stars. So you have a lot of magical powers in you. And you are awakening it more and more. Comment below. I'm awakening my power. The goddess in me is awakening. I'm awakening my psychic abilities. Man, I got endless affirmations for you, darling. In your sleep, too, there's an upgrade going on. You are awakening to your true gift, your true ability, to your true goddess self. This is a wondrous time of exploration, romance, and creativity. So, again, you're literally going to start creating again, connecting, falling in love again. Comment below. I'm going to start falling in love again. You're going to start falling in love with yourself, therefore, with everything around you, with your project, with your work, with a person, with friends, okay? You're regaining your self-worth. So you're awakening the goddess now that you're putting in love for yourself. Now that you're like, hold on. I don't deserve this. I deserve more. Comment below. I deserve more. Somebody here reminds me of like the story of Joseph. A lot of rivalry, jealousy with the siblings later on for God to put you in a position of king. Right? But before that, Joseph had a vision with the stars, with 11 stars, with the sun and the moon bowing down to him so all these stars it's like you're going to be surrounded with superstars there's a lot of ascended masters angels like spiritual warriors behind you coming below i'm protected by spiritual warriors and with the sword you're like a determined person coming here to conquer like joan of arc and you're awakening like a past life gift or a past life you coming below i'm awakening the past life me that was triumphant that was um a warrior you know that 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 knew his or her authentic self is a power someone here could have like air bending abilities or you feel like you can manipulate weather or something like that goddess of justice is here again justice is here twice libra justice karma right what seems an injustice is actually a blessing so in the past you felt like maybe whatever those people did to you was an injustice but you're about to see how the people treated you was a blessing. You're about to see how that curse was a blessing. Come and below. I'm about to see why this pain was a blessing. Why this curse was a blessing. You're about to see why. Because it's going to make you famous. It's going to make you put in a pedestal of a place of leadership. It's not just about fame. Because fame is just about anything. This is a warrior that is meant to be seen in a divine way. To awaken the other people. Because once you awaken, you're starting a whole domino effect of other people awakening. We need you, first of all. There's something magnificent about you. And that's why, of course, that's why in the past um, they tried to belittle you. Because you're going to touch more people's lives. Someone new is definitely entering your life and they're reminding you. Okay? Somebody here needs to watch out about a perverted teacher. If you have kids, ask them about that. There's something there. Okay, but you were born to make a positive impact in the world. Affirm that in the comments below, okay? I was born for greatness. I was born to shine. I was born to be seen. I was born to be heard. I was born to be manifested into beauty. I was born to awaken to the true me, the star, my anointings, what makes me divine. That's what you're about to discover. Sending you so much love and light, Maji Gang. Thank you for everyone who donated to watch this video, who liked, share, and subscribe. Till next time, bye-bye.